Hello, I'm Georgie and welcome to Tech World, your quick roundup of the top technology news stories from across the globe. For this episode's Hot Topic interview, we'll be speaking with Richard Gould from EY about tech mergers and acquisitions. First though, here are your top international stories. Samsung acquired connected car tech firm Harman International Industries for $8 billion. This marks the biggest overseas deals made by the South Korean tech giant and will enable it to branch out into the area of connected vehicles. The firm is in a bit of hot water at the moment though, with the South Korean authorities raiding Samsung's offices. This is part of a corruption investigation allegedly involving South Korea's president, its national pension fund and Samsung. Chinese tech giant Coolpad reported a sales blow, causing its shares to fall by almost 10%. The smartphone company blamed tough economic conditions and increased competition for the decline in sales. Facebook and Google announced measures to tackle the distribution of fake news online. Both have vowed to prevent fake news sites from accessing their vast advertising networks, depriving them of a key revenue source. Meanwhile, Twitter made a bit of a blunder recently, accidentally suspending the account of its own chief executive, Jack Dorsey. His account was suspended for around half an hour due to an internal mistake, which also caused his follower count to fall from almost 4 million to less than 150. Those are your top technology stories for this month. In this episode's Hot Topics interview, I spoke with Richard Gould of EY about mergers and acquisitions in the technology space. What's been going on in the world of tech M&As in 2016? Well, it's been an incredibly busy year so far. What we've seen have been quarter-on-quarter -quarter rises, and it's been driven by a series of things. Technology companies with huge balance sheets are buying more technology companies. Private equity investors are investing heavily, but interestingly, we've seen skyrocketing of non-technology companies buying technology companies globally. Have we seen any regions being particularly active? Well, the whole globe is active, both in the volume of deals that are happening and the money that's being spent, but the clear winner continues to be the US. The US strategic buyers have got the balance sheets and the appetite to keep on snapping up these tech companies. What about the types of companies that have been acquired? Well, by volume, we've seen cloud be the far and out winner. There is just more rising cloud businesses that are being acquired globally. But by value, we're seeing absolute winners in the internet of things, connected cars, smart mobility and security areas. And how does all this compare to previous years? The types of technology companies that are being acquired will change year on year because disruptive technologies will continue to advance. But we're seeing a clear rise year on year and quarter by quarter of both volume and value. So I think that's a trend that's likely to continue. So 2017 is set to be an exciting year for tech M&As. Richard, thank you very much. Thank you. That's it for this month's episode. For more technology news updates, make sure you hit the thumbs up button and subscribe.